Hello, everyone, and welcome to our ISN End of the Year Awards, where we kind of crown specific artists or songs that really stuck out to us for the year. Kind of like the year awards that they actually give out title groups that are a little more official than ours. But needless to say, let's get on with some awards, shall we? So for me, this is going to be because, you know, it's been a long time. She finally had her debut. She's been through a few competitions. My breakthrough artist of the year is going to be Naughty. Mainly because, again, like I've said, Naughty has done a lot to not only strive from becoming someone who was on 16, who was on idol school, and unfortunately did not debut in those groups but eventually she did debut as a soloist and she has been making impacts as a soloist i think she really deserves the big out artist or group of the year all right so for this i'm gonna give it to signature you know they've had a very strong debut had a very successful comeback both have performed much higher than your average uh, group has all right, so breakout artist group of the year. I definitely really have to give mine to Weekly. I think Weekly did amazing on debut, and I think they've really, really done well with like growing their brand and breaking out into into the scene. For this, I can only think of Weekly having just debuted. They're already they're the highest ranking for a rookie group that debuted this year. And, quite frankly, I love them. They're great. Signature also gets another honorable mention. They've done very well from a start earlier this year. Rookie of the year. Oh. Ooh. Rook- there-, there were so many great debuts this year. Man. They-, they-, they were really great. I think one of the groups that stood out to me the most, while... I do agree that there were really great rookies that did debut, like Aespa and whatnot. I think I'm going to have to give my choice to Lunar Solar. Um, it is, I believe they're from a smaller company, but I think that they have a lot of potential to becoming a really popular group. Um, if you haven't given them a listen yet, give them a listen. Not gonna lie, they're really good. There are so many to give rookie of the year to i think without a doubt i'm gonna have to give mine to espa espa did extremely well coming off of black mamba and i think 100 percent i think they are um the group to give it to this year it, it's been one heck of a year so and there's been a lot of great albums that have come out for album of the year i'm going to have to Give it to Day Six's Demons. That album is still on repeat for me. It is an amazing album with so much meaning, and it does ha- the title track. Uh, Zombie has a, both an English and a Korean version, so give them both a listen to because they're all they're all such an amazing track list. Um. And it one, it's also a Korean band. Give it a listen. It it, it is an honestly a great album, and Day Six have really put in the work for to make a great album. I deliberated so long; it took me over a week to decide my album of the year. I'm gonna have to give it to Boramiu's "Dear My Color," uh, mostly because of um, the fact that I still listen to every single song. And I still really enjoy that uh, album to its fullest. Album of the year for me, the, out of all the albums I purchased this year, the one that I've listened to the most would be Junkie's Love. You know, they're R&B soul. I love it. And that hits all the right notes for me, quite literally. But, you know, for some honorable mentions that come very close would be Yukika with Soul A, City Pop. I love it. Yours, Bon Voyage, her uh, solo debut, so very much loved it. Alright, so for this category of Best Female Artist, 
I am hands down uh, going to give mine to BB. I think BB's done amazing with her with her work on Han Ryong, um, with Heechul and Kyungun. I also really think that BB has really stepped up her game from last year as well, um, become more of like her own person, also as uh, an artist in, in and of herself. So that's definitely who I'm going to have to give it to for this year. For this, you know, I could choose Blackpink because they are the highest uh, rated girl group at the moment and basically have contested a uh, top ranked girl, girl group in the past couple of years as well. I just feel like that'd be really boring. So. I'm going to choose a Oh My Girl, and I know you can think that, you know, that just comes down to my own personal bias, but I chose them based off of the fact that up until 2018, they were a very new group, and uh, 2019, they climbed up into the top 10 of girl groups. In fact, last year, they were 8th uh, overall, or no, 8th among girl groups, and the fact that this year, they're 6th overall among girl groups shows that last year wasn't just a fluke for them. And that oh my girl is actually here to stay as like a uh, as one of the top tier girl groups. Some honorable mentions for that though, uh, I gotta give it to Taeyeon and BB. Um, man, they've been killing it. This was a hard one. Female artists, there have been so many great female artists. This time I made my pick based on the impact on the industry and how great and the range of music that she, she's created throughout this year. And I'm going to have to give it to Hwasa. Uh, Mama Moose Hwasa, she's done an amazing job releasing so many great songs with her, with her solo with Mama Moo and with Refund Sisters. She's done such an amazing job and she su has such an amazing vocalist and she has such an atmosphere about her that I could not give it to her. Again, you know, I could choose BTS. You know, they've been the powerhouse um, boy group for the past couple of years now. And again, I just feel like that'd be really boring. I so for this, I chose Crush. You know, Crush, amazing artist, and he has been doing a lot of collabs. You know, he's been in hot demand for collabs, and he's just been absolutely killing it this year. Honorable mention would be TXT. So, you know, relatively young group, and they've been doing very well. There's been a lot of great groups this year. There's been so many amazing groups, but I think the award is going to have to go to BTS. Um... BTS have been really making strides in the industry and globally as a group with one of my favorite releases this year being on for the video work and for the music work. It is such an amazing release for both the performance video and for the music video itself, uh, including we uh, called Pride Rock in the music video. It, it was honestly a really good and well done video and with even with Dynamite, it was a really good music video. For me, it was on that was really what pushed me to decide that BTS was the male artist slash group of the year. And all the members have been doing an amazing job this year too. Alright, best male artist group of the year. I, I was caught between two. Um, I was really caught between Ha Ha Song or Han Dang Gun, both of which did amazing this year. However, I think I'm going to have to give it to Han Dang Gun. Han Dang Gun did amazing this year with his work on his most recent album, Obscured Star. And with his uh, song Farewell as well. Um, he also came out with another song later on this year, which was A Letter to Myself 10 years ago. And I really enjoyed that one. It really, like, I feel like that was easily relatable and resonated very well. New Goo Artist of the Year. Wow, there have been a lot of there are a lot of groups to choose from, but I'm going to have to say that for me, out of all the groups that have come and gone, it's actually going to be Bandit. It has they are such an amazing group. I've been listening to their songs since their debut last year, 
and I do have one of the albums uh, I believe it's carnival really good recommend go listen to the that album I really do recommend bandit I believe they that they were my rookie group of last year so if you haven't listened to them yet give them a listen because they honestly deserve it I want to give it to you very good purely on the basis that they have been around for six or seven years or so they're still around they've still had a release but even after losing how many members over the years especially after last year you know it just shows like how resilient the group is and that the company was still seriously promoting them uh, honorable missions goes to uh, alphabet donkeys dream note dia and nature all right new good group of the year my category here man there are so many options there really are I think I'm going to have to give mine to Girlkind this year. Girlkind, well, we saw last year Girlkind kind of struggled um, a little bit, and then they continued kind of that into this year. But they managed to have two comebacks this year, even with the pandemic that that is going on. And I really, really admire that, um, especially because their last one, Cycle for You, was actually very well produced. It was a lot better step up from, from Future that was a little more on a tighter budget. So definitely really happy with how they how they've done this year. All right, so for this category, it has to go to Weekly. Now, they've had a very strong debut. They've had a strong comeback. And even after all that, they didn't. They have not lost steam. You know, they, their brand strength has really stabilized into a very strong position. All right, fastest growth award. I kind of talked about this in my, in my breakout artist or group of the year award. I have to give it to Weekly. I think they've done very super well growing their brand and kind of supplementing themselves as a, as a girl group to be reckoned with, even though they de only debuted this year. Also, their album, We Are, is really, really good. Notable songs in there as well. I'm not sure how this was actually decided last year. I don't remember how I decided, and I don't exactly know what determines it. But uh, I'm going to have to put give my award to Sock 3. UJ Sok, Lee Hyori, and Rain. They put together a quick group and hit, have hit number one. And honestly, they, they've they grown really fast. Uh, probably because the members are already really popular, but it is still technically a new group. So, Sok 3. All right, performance of the year. So obviously because of the pandemic, we were not really able to have a ton of performances. However, one performance that I really, really liked was Irene and Silgi from Red Velvet with their song Naughty. Um, that was on Show Music Core episode 688 for anyone that wants to look it up and see what I'm talking about. But big thing is tutting is very, very difficult. Um, and tutting is the dance style that they are doing in, in Naughty. And I think... The camera work on that also really helps showcase that kind of style. So that's who I'm going to have to give it to this year for. Mm. This is a hard one. This is a hard one because I have two. And I'm going to cheap out on these two uh, because I c could not pick between these two. I'm going to cheap out on Nick and uh, Jihoon because, yeah, whatever. I don't care. So, the f one performance is going to be a mixed group performance comprised of Cheetah, Ye Yeon, Jamie, Hyoyeon, and Jiwoo for, I think it was Bad Girl, or was it Good Girl? I don't remember the show, but it was for the performance of Witch. That was such an amazing rap performance. The... All the women did such an amazing job and they conveyed such a powerful performance. It was a wonderful performance that all the members did. My second award will, is going to go to uh, Twice's Cry For Me. Um, it was from the, the 2020 Mama Awards. It was such a well choreographed performance. And it was so well done with the stage work, the 
beauty of how the members and how different it usually is for most twice songs it was such a great performance and it was so well done i couldn't choose between these two performances so uh that's where my performance of the years are, is going to be is with these two performances now for performance of the year i got to give this to oh my girl angie idol when they performed miss a's good girl or bad girl good girl so I've got my five songs, and it was not an easy pick. It was so hard. But I'm going to have to go with Blue Bear, Thank You. It was one of the songs that was me and the guys talked about before. It was such an amazing release, and it deserves so much love. It, it deserves so much love. It is an amazing song. H and D's Umbrella. That duo is such an amazing duo. After X One and before becoming joining another group, the this duo did an amazing job in all their releases. But to me, Umbrella probably was the one that stood out the most to me. It was such a really great release. Stray Kids got God's Menu, great song, great song. It, like it's the whole do 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 still pops into my head. So it was honestly a great song, great release. My friends actually really enjoyed that、uh, song as well. So, and they're not into K-pop. So yeah. So if Stray Kids can get them into a release, yeah, it I do recommend that. I use eight. I believe the other guys and I all agree that IU is an amazing singer, and eight is such a beautiful song. It was so well done and well choreographed that it was really good. It was really good. And then my last one is going to go to Twice's Behind the Mask. This is a B side track. Out of all five, this is a The only B side track in my choice list. Twice did a really amazing job with this song, and this was actually com. I believe it was either written or composed by Hayes. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up again. But this is a really beautifully done song, and I really, really thought it was good. So if you haven't had a chance to listen to it, I'll listen to Twice's Behind the Mask. But yeah, those are my five choices. Go give them all a listen to if you haven't already. And yeah. Now finally, we got the top five songs of the year. And to be honest, it was very, very difficult. I think the rest of the guys would agree with me that we've had a lot of amazing songs, and limiting it to only just five. Is very difficult. I actually was already struggling at top fifty songs for the year, in no particular order. I got MC and D with T.O.P. Gang.、Uh, that was their pre-debut song. Absolutely loved it. Junkies, baby. Actually, you know his entire album was amazing, and you know if I had to pick one out of all all the songs off the album, you know it would have to be that. Lunar Solar with Oh Yeah Yeah Yeah, another banger of a song for from a rookie girl group that just debuted. Yua from Oh My Girl with Bon Voyage. Oh man, it's a great getaway song. Very uplifting. Love her vocals. Very pure. Very, very、uh, soulful. So, and then finally, we got Hanyang from、uh, Hicho Kyunghyun. BB produced by Dindin. It just、uh, released very late in the year, and my God, it's an amazing song, absolute banger. And top five songs of the year. All right, here's the here's the the big one that it took me forever to deliberate about because I had to really really pick here. So my first one is gonna be Hahin Songs Thirty One Oh Eight. 
It is an amazing song, something that still gets me wanting to dance, something that I've listened to throughout this year. Another big one for me. Another big one is Sody's Trigger. That song has an amazing, amazing background instrumental, as well as MV to, to supplement it. Another big one is going to be Cherry Bullets Hands Up. Me and Jihoon talked about this one endlessly. It was always on repeat. I'm definitely going to have to give it to Cherry Bullet Hands Up for my third pick. Coming on to my fourth pick is going to be Han Ryang, uh, that which is Kimmy Chol, BB, Min Kyung Un, and Dindin. And man, that that was a collaboration that I didn't know I wanted, but I that I needed. You know, I really love the song. It's still on repeat, and definitely goes in as one of my faves of this year. And my last one is Purple Kisses. My heart skip a beat. I think they for a pre debut song they transitioned very well. I think that they are already showcasing what it means to be like a top tier idol group, and I really it really really has me hyped for what to come for that group man so as far as that goes that those are my top five and yeah that's seriously insane uh these songs make sure you go listen to all of them thank you for watching this has been isn with our end of the year awards um make sure you like comment subscribe and uh, click that bell icon if you want to know when we upload in the future. Uh, tell us whether or not your favorite groups got picked and maybe what some of your categories are or favorite groups inside of these categories are. Definitely want to hear a lot from you guys. If you guys want to tell us, um, if you guys want to tell us and get a more immediate response, you can always join our Discord. We talk there pretty often. And if you want to talk to us, that's the best place to contact us. We have a Twitter. Make sure you go follow that. We also post when our episodes go live there. Uh, if you like our content and want to consider give, giving back, we have a Patreon. Um, make sure you go check that out. Link for that will be in the description down below. And yeah, for, after this entire train wreck of a year, 2020 was a awful year. We hope 21, 20, 2021 is going to be a ton better for everyone. And just from us at ISN, we hope you guys have an amazing next year. Bye.